So I was planning on maybe putting some makeup on and actually doing this a bit more word nicely <laughs> but um just I just do update you in the moment um I've been wearing more makeup recently started wearing um eyeliner and it's actually working I don't know why that's relevant to you but um so I'm a bit I've got a bit left over from last night hello and welcome back to my channel I'm Rosa and this is honestly Rosa Welcome to flat 14 where we play cards most of the time. This is Chloe. This is Brad who is the other older student of me. And this is Sophie. And Pinky just there in the corner too. On the YouTube. At this point in our flat, no one could shuffle. It was embarrassing. I can't, I can't hold you. Good afternoon, it is now Friday. bits from over the week. Oh, so scared <laughs> I did plan on vlogging, but um, I've just had so much to do. Spilled half my veggie gravy. So, it is Wednesday afternoon. I've just had an advisor meeting with my academic advisor, which was really useful actually. Um, I feel a bit more in touch with things. Um, Apologies, I'm a bit of a lay in today, but um, I am wobbling apparently. Today I'm going to send off a um, parcel that I've sold on Depop. Um, it is raining, I was going to go do some laundry. But look at it. miserable i don't really feel like carrying my clean laundry through the rain and getting wet again so i might have to wait um which is kind of fine because the more i do the less expensive it is because obviously bung it all in one um so yeah the mess <laughs> one of those days really a little update yesterday i went out and had a study 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 session with one of my course mates, Charlie, who I originally met through one of my seminars um, when we had to do like a group exercise. So we ended up going for coffee and nattering more than we studied. We went to the Alchemista, which was a coffee shop, and it had this really cool bathroom. So I had to do that plan to get some footage. And then we got ended up getting kicked out of the coffee shop because we didn't realise it closed. We were just so busy. And then we went for a drink and continued and read each other's work for each other. Sorry, but you are it today. <laughs> <laughs> and we found another nice bathroom with an interesting tap, so that's become our thing. And Charlie let me read her copy of the book, which I still haven't got. Which was so useful so thank you charlie that was really useful and um, we got on really well so it was really nice and i think we're going to continue to meet up which would be really useful to have someone on my course that i'm friends with <laughs> especially now that it's online it feels a bit isolating really i had a really good time um, i can't wait till next time i have also finally had a uni party. <laughs> Our flat, we had a little mini party, just us. I can feel my hand shaking. <laughs> oh my god! 
Um, stayed up so late for me. I think we went to bed like gone two in the morning. Which I know doesn't sound that crazy for my student students, but for me it was. Um, I drank way more than I have done in a long time. <laughs> Had a load of fun, danced, <laughs> dressed up. It was really good. I really appreciate my flatmates. Um, it's nice because they were all up for it, but they're also not crazy like that's party drinking every single night which would have been a bit much for me we yeah. took it pretty chill on sunday ended up getting pizza together which was really nice yeah. so it's good we've got some plans for this week i think a few of us gonna go pumpkin picking if it's not too late gonna get our halloween on <laughs> uh, i finally got caught up on my work on my uni work last week so hence the nice weekend off although being 24 i forgot because it's been a while since I've properly had a drinking night. I forgot that you get two day hangovers when you get older. Like I expected the Sunday, that was fine. I felt a bit dead, I had a bit of a shoddy pole lesson. Yeah, you pulled out. Yes, 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 yes. It's that, that's that. That's... Because I just, I had no, I was just so dead. Um, and then Monday I thought I'll be fine and I ended up feeling worse and I was like what, what is happening to me? So mature students who are coming to uni and you decide to bring a bit more youth back into your life just remember look after yourselves because um, it's harder than you remember. <laughs> um, so yeah Monday was a bit of a write off. I didn't end up going to pop practice because that just wasn't going to happen. I ended up sleeping most of the day bit of a throwback to my teens. I'm gonna say I'm really loving my script writing for film and TV module. Love it. I have um, Molly Naylor as a seminar leader and um, if you're coming to this uni and you're, and you're choosing a modules or whatever, I highly recommend going for that one. I, if you like script writing, it's, oh, I've loved every single assignment. Um, I'm just really enjoying it. It was a good group of people too and um, I'm at least really, I mean, I may have already said this, but I'm starting to think script writing may be more my thing than prose, which is interesting because prose is always my thing. Um, so yeah, like push yourself to try different modules while you're here or in any uni, like broaden your horizons because you might find something you really love, even though you didn't think you would. So yeah, it's good. Yeah, I was planning on vlogging more, but it's just gonna end up being another little update video. I've just been so busy. Um, another tip, if you, like me, sometimes struggle to get like longer pieces of reading done, and when you only focus on them for one week, you don't even really focus on them that much, I recommend listening to the audiobook because I find it easier to listen to that for a longer amount of time and get, get all the information in. And then if I then need to reference it and study it further, then I can go back and it's already familiar and I can find things easier. Um, so I recommend listening to the audiobooks as what I've done for some of my readings, which has made it easier. So I did say that I was going to try and incorporate answering comments in these videos. Um, so I've got a couple from last week. I've got one under my last video saying um, from Europa Maggie and um, she says um, I'm at UEA in first year, I don't actually live on campus as I'm a mature student too, I'm only 20 on, 21 <laughs> so I feel super lonely right now with no per in-person lectures. I think it's so hard to try and understand what's going on at, at what time and also having to sit in the same place all day is taking a toll on me. I think it's going to be a learning curve and I agree that deadlines don't feel real. It doesn't really feel like we're doing degrees right now. Just got to power through. I completely agree. It can feel very lonely, um, especially when you're not in a room studying with other people. Um, like I said, I've been socialising more and it's got to be even harder in your first year this year because obviously there's not that sort of social aspect. As you said, you don't live on campus, so obviously there's even less of that. Um, I don't know where you are, are you in Norwich or whether you're studying from home. If you are in Norwich, maybe reach out to some people on your course, um, see if 
I mean, obviously meeting up is a bit of a personal thing right now, but if that is something you're comfortable with, see if you can meet for a coffee shop study group or just maybe even a Zoom study group so you can actually talk about it. I'm sure you're being made to do um, group work too, but like outside of the course, see if you can meet up and actually chat and make some friends within your course. Um, as it makes such a difference being able to have even those sort of aside comments like during lectures if you're messaging your friend going like oh um or if your lecturer ends up having their dog on their lap and you're like dog it just it just makes it that much more engaging when you have someone else to chat to throughout um so maybe try reaching out see if there's anyone on your course that you can chat to um if you're at home obviously i know you can't then meet up with anyone but if you are in Norwich, see if there's someone that will meet up with you, go for coffee or yeah, just have a chat. Um, I know it's hard, it is lonely and it really doesn't feel real right now, does it? Um, but you've got this and you don't have to have it perfect because everyone's trying to work it out right now. And then I've got one more, another comment from one of my haul videos, which I know is not completely relevant right now, but um, again, that's another comment, so we'll reply. Um, and this is from Gabby K. Um, this was on my video for the um, Tala Sky review. Um, and the question and um, the comment is thanks for the vid, super helpful. Um, for the Mina bra, do you think it's possible to go running in them without boobs bouncing up and down? I'm a D or a double D. I mean, I'm not that big chested, so I can't really give you that much advice. Um, I would, but then I run without bras anyway. Um, I'd say it's not the most high support bra. Um, this is quite a bit of fabric up at the top. Um, I'd say maybe not. Maybe if you had like a a more supported bra. I feel like it's more of a crop top slash bra, so maybe not. I hope that helps. If you have any other comments, just let me know. <laughs> oh, I had a really good um, Zoom social with my whole community. Um, last night. Why would you show us that? Why would you show us that? So that's the order, okay? Just did a games night, but it ended up being really quite social. We were chatting, laughing, and felt really nice. I was a bit, it's a bit daunting thinking about doing socials on Zoom because it's a little awkward. But actually, last night was really nice. Um, we had a good laugh, so I appreciate that. I'm feeling a lot more social this year, and um, that's the thing. If you're a mature student and you're coming to uni and you like last in my first year i ended up living in a less social accommodation which suited me fine like it was good to settle in but um obviously choose what's right for you but this year i'm obviously i'm feeling a lot more social of course when everything's locked down but um maybe don't cut yourself off from those opportunities because I mean, you may have experienced that already in your life. I mean, I know I have, but I am really grateful to be making these new connections and just having fun. I've missed having fun and I feel like I was a little too serious last year. Um, obviously, don't put your studies in jeopardy, but um, don't cut off having fun. Right, enjoy uni. I am definitely enjoying the more social aspect this year um, so that's that's my advice to other mature students thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to be notified every time i post which is every thursday and let me know in the comments what you thought anything you'd like me to cover and um, keep up the kindness my friends